Welcome to this Football Brisbane Media feature game presentation. I'm Darren Lutton. It's grand final day and we're at Underwood Park for the Mount Franklin Women's Premier League clash between Mitchelton FC and Annerley FC. Of course, Mitchelton are on track for a historic treble. Annerley are looking to defend their grand final trophy. Let's head straight to the action. Thanks very much, Darren. Mitchelton coach Jonathan Hall looking on at his troops as he paces through Underwood Park. Anthony Costa, the Emily coach, looks rather relaxed as he looks on at his charges in their final kick around. As I said, Jonathan Hall deputising for Zoe Bickerstaff in the Middleton coaching box today, while for Annerley, there's no Gemma Layfield in the between the sticks with the goalkeeping gloves. Referee for this one is James Maney, assisted by Ryan Elton and Christina Markovics, the fourth official is Glenn Bell. So all in readiness now for this 2016 Mount Franklin Women's Premier League Grand Final from Underwood Park. Free kick here for Annerley. Balls for Sweeney. Sweeney, she's managed to break free from the green shirts. Taylor's got straight up to her feet and Barking at her defenders that they need to do better there. Let's take a second look at it. Sweeney and Taylor's done probably just enough to cut down the angle. A good back heel there for O'Grady. Oh, and she just can't squeeze it in there at the near post. attempting to clear their defensive area. Rebello, speculative shot from outside the box. She's forced Piper to take a touch on it. And they'll have a corner here, Mitchelton. Played in by McDonald. Headed on by Brody. And eventually Piper will grab it. Rebello loses out to Mickle John. Back for Perlo. Perlo on here for Burleson. And Burleson goes down, so too does Taylor. Both players going for the ball. And Taylor has come off worse for wear. As I said, both players going for the ball fairly. And uh, you've got to be brave as a keeper in those situations. Taylor, bit of the nod of the head and a smile on the face. So coming up to the half-time break. Free kick to Annerley. And again, Mitchell in a fail to deal with it. Smith goes down. And Taylor gets there before Sweeney. So no goals in the opening stanza. First opportunity here at the second half for Mitchelton. Breaks for Annerley on the counter. Mickle John for Sweeney. Got a player in the middle of the park in Smith. And you just can't latch onto it. Swung in. Deegan. Cleared off the line. I think Taylor attempted to get something off it, but Mitchell and McLeod off the line there a second time. Deegan tries to find a way through. He took a deflection. Taylor couldn't hold on it. And it looks like that Carden has saved the day for her side twice. Lutkins gets to the byline. Cuts one back here in the direction of McDonald. Carden, was she on hand? She sends it wide. And again, Mitchelton launch another attacking foray. McDonald, quick one two here. And there's been some contact in the box. Referee waves away those shouts. Let's see if we can see anything here. Yeah, first contact on the ball there by Kate Deegan. Good call. 
by the referee. So corner here for the Mustangs with a quarter of an hour remaining. Lofted high in towards the penalty spot. Here's Lutkins, cross the goal. And Mitchelton have finally broken the deadlock. Scenes of jubilation here for the Mustangs as they score the opening goal of this grand final. Kate Lutkins puts her side one to the good. Brody, able to get around O'Connor, who is able to recover in time. Now another ball into the box, claims a handball. Once again, the referee weighs away the penalty shouts. And Annalise start to launch a counter. Well, that would have been a tough one to give. Definitely looked like ball to hand rather than the other way around. McDonald slides one through. Milton looking for a second here. And Harrison's content to see that out for a corner. So less than 60 seconds of normal time remaining. The corner's played short for Lutkins. Lutkins. And they found the goal here once again, Mitchelton. It's Kate Giannarikas who has made sure that Mitchelton will claim the treble in 2016. Unmarked there at the back post. And the Mustangs look to have gone out to an unassailable lead. Into stoppage time now. Perhaps a final throw in for Annalee. Last check of the watch by the referee. Mitchelton are the 2016 Mount Franklin Women's Premier League Grand Final winners with a 2-0 victory against Adley here at Underwood Park. All right, 10 seconds for a photo and then we'll call Anthony over for a quick chat. Well, Anthony, a brave effort by your girls today. You just came up a little bit short. Oh, I thought the girls were fantastic. Um, we we came to this game missing missing quite a few players, including our captain. Um, a lot of injuries. Um, I couldn't be more proud of the girls. Uh, Mitchelton, like you guys are phenomenal. You guys already know that. Um, but um, credit 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 to my girls. They they fought, and I, I really could not be more proud of those girls. Considering your recent history against Mitchelton, uh, an improved performance today, you must have had a plan that was executed by your players? Um, yeah, we've worked hard in the last couple of weeks to put together a system. Obviously losing a couple of key players, we had to think of a new system to try and obviously try and beat Mitchelton, but also suit the players we had available. And um, the girls always give 100%. I thought they executed it pretty well today, so I'm pretty happy. So overall, happy with the season? Oh yeah, couldn't be happier. Um, last year we finished third, we finished just second this year, we made the cup final again, we made the grand final again. Um, just felt this, the last hurdle, but on a self, I actually think this is a better season than last year, personally. Fantastic. Congratulations, Anthony. <laughs> Congratulations, Jonathan. How easy is this job? You get Zoe to do all the hard work for you during the season and then you just step in at the right time and pick up all the trophies. Yeah, I could get pretty used to this. So it's not, uh, it's not a bad problem to have. Uh, but, uh, I think Zoe's laid a, laid a grand foundation for the club over the last probably four years when she's been involved in. Not from what you see today, but what you see through the lower grades as well. So, um, yeah, the club has got Zoe. has got to thank Zoe for a lot um, and included what we've been able to do here this year. What did you make of the game today? 
Uh, I thought that we were. Um, I thought we could have probably executed better, a little bit better in the final third. I thought we um, we yeah we we had a few chances that we didn't just quite get in the end of. But all in all, we had hustled. We, we hustled every single play, and that's all we needed to do today. And um, we knew what we were going to come up against. We were a fantastic football team. They were, they're very well coached, and you know, we've had three battles, and they're probably the score lines over the last couple. of um, Meetings probably doesn't reflect, you know, how, how close the, the battles have been. So, you know, a special thanks out to those girls. They've had a great season. They're very well coached and they're a very good football team. Now, when you watch the highlights next week uh, and watch some of the coverage of, a, of the other games, you'll note that um, I don't have a tremendous record this weekend of keeping stats. But I make that four trophies for Mitchelton FC this year, which is gives them a grand total over 98 years of four trophies. <laughs> Including a travel for these girls. Sensational year. Oh, it has been an amazing year. We started the beginning of the year, you know, probably um, October, November last year. We started pre-season and our goal was to be competitive and make sure we put ourselves in a position to make the top four. And, uh, you know, we've, uh, we've gone far beyond that. And um, it's amazing. You know, you see 16 girls behind us and, and Kath and, and myself. But, you know, there's a whole bunch of other girls through our resis, through our Div 1s team and the committee and everyone that's involved in the club. Um, it's been an amazing year. Yeah, we're just going to, um, I'm surely we're going to enjoy tonight, and we'll probably enjoy tomorrow at some point. Uh, so if you're working the CBD, keep an eye out for these girls. The 2016 Mount Franklin Brisbane Women's Premier